Hi, my name's Hoppip, and I'm a really crappy grass type. Yeah, this is P4. I trained up this Hoppip. It was a pain in the butt. As you can see, this little thing here has pretty horrid stats, and its best offensive move was tackle. So I had to keep doing, you know, the switch training thing, and it was on level 6. I grew to 11 levels. It didn't take all that long, but still, it was pretty annoying. He does have some good status moves, though. He has Poison Powder, he has Synthesis, Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is honestly reason enough to keep him, because none of my other Pokemon have learned it thus far. He actually had the opportunity to learn Stun Spore too, but since I already had a Pokemon with Stun Spore, I decided to keep Sleep Powder over it, and since I have no one that knows Poison Powder, I decided to keep it. And yeah, so I trained up Hoppy. <laughs> Hoppy, it was a pain. But that's not who all, who all, the only Pokemon I trained. I also trained Electabuzz, who is a monster. He's another really valuable member of the team, especially since our team's particularly flying weak. Or it was flying weak to make Electabuzz. Thunder Punch hits hard. It's a really powerful move, probably one of the more powerful moves we have. Quick Attack is decent, and it even learned Light Screen while I was training it. And Light Screen has the damage from Special Attack moves, and that's actually not that bad. So we are set and ready to go, and we can continue on to, sorry, I, I wasn't training, I was training the route down below by the cycling road. So we're going to go back to route 117, and Hoppip's about to grow in one level, so I'm going to show you how crappy he is in battle, and we'll get to evolve him, so that should be pretty neat. First, let's check out what these berries are. We pair berries, yeah, we pair berries. Um, I think they're contest berries, or, yeah, contest berries. I'll check quick. Yeah, pokey block ingredients, so we'll just leave the rest, because I don't really care, and we'll battle this triathlon. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever, it's a battle. <laughs> whatever, let's just give up, you know. He was in the middle of a triathlon, running back and forth in place, and now he's having a battle. He just doesn't give a crap. Dodoro, <laughs> Hoppy has absolutely no chance. I want to show you how weak his tackle is, but I'm too afraid to leave him in. Let's see how great of a counter Light Year is to um, Fine Types now. That actually did more than I thought it would. But that's alright, because Thunder Punch will easily destroy this thing. Light Year is a threat, just like the real Buzz Light Year. Alright, I ran out of energy. Yeah, probably. Oh, speaking of Pokenabs, I got a bunch of calls while I was training. Yeah, all these trainers that I've been registering are finally getting back and calling me. And actually, one of those people that called me, this is semi-story important, so I'll tell you, was Wally. He registered us in the Pokenab. That's about it. It's I wouldn't call it vital to the story, but nonetheless, it's part of the story that he comes part of the Pokenab, so I thought I'd tell you, because it happened off-screen. Uh, watch. I'll, I'm willing to whisk with the watch how little this does. That's that looks more than it is. Keep in mind, I'm six levels higher than it. And Rizmer has pathetic defenses. So let's switch into Mr. Pinchy to finish off this Rizmer. Astonish! <gasps> Smash its face in. Curb stomp it. All right, Rizmer is gone. And out comes Taylor. Yeah, time to send in the good old electric counter. Watch this peck just glam oh, focus energy. All right, you're just gonna get destroyed by a our uh, thunder punch now. Oh, quick attack, making those. Oh, static. What to us is great. He has a pretty versatile move pool, so we can learn a lot of different things. And he has a mini support role on our team as well, since he has the um the light screen. So let's let's punch this Aaron. Aaron is not a ground type actually, so electric, he's a um, steel rock, so electric moves will hurt him. Contrary to what the show says, electric moves do indeed hurt rock types. The show is always lying to people. Um, let's switch into Mr. Pinchy again, just because he's a, he's a little under leveled right now. Tackle, Pfft. critical hit. Come on, really. And so our Mr. Pinchy can take those critical tackles for days. With a name like Mr. Pinchy, I mean, how can you? Um, Zigzagoon, jeez, this guy has six Pokemon. I complain about that, but really, 
This is actually one of the few trainers I want to get their Pokenav number. Because using the match call feature, you can re-challenge him. And since he has so many Pokemon, he's pretty easy to train off of. Especially since all his Pokemon are fairly weak. So if you're looking for some quick, easy, non-tedious ways to train, this guy has a few different Pokemon, so at least you get to see a few different sprites as you're training. I mean, it's still far from interesting, but it's better than training against the same one Pokemon over and over again. I'm going to redouble my training. Would you come looking at us? So this guy gives you his number. Another Pokemon breeder gives you the number as well. I already battled her in the last episode, so we can keep going. Um, we're going to have a double battle with one of these girls. Or, yeah. Um... We'll keep hop up in front, and I guess we'll go Scarecrow. Scarecrow. I'm not want to use Double Grass. That might be a bad idea. We'll go Cody. Scarecrow isn't exactly shining brightly right. Oh, I messed up the double bell. Concentrate and get in the wind. That's how I battle. You better concentrate hard, because it will take more than just thinking to beat me. I'm a meditate. Yeah, Hoppy's just in stand chance against this thing. Alright, um, we'll go into Mr. Pinchy again. Who, Mr. Pinchy is getting kind of annoying as well, because although he's powerful, he doesn't have any very po he doesn't have many powerful moves, or any bug moves to get stab off of, so. I have to keep vice gripping little yoga babies in half. That sounds so horrible. Take that, Asia. I don't waste any time being angry over loss. I would rather train. Well, isn't she intense with her level 17 mid day? Oh, come on. I want to do a double battle. Isn't it nice to battle while looking at pretty flowers? If you look at pretty flowers while you're battling, I'm pretty sure you can get destroyed. You know, her sprite and the overworld totally had more clothes than that. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, she did Dodo. Electric counter. It's, it feels really nice to have an electric counter now. A solid one. Before we totally didn't have one. Just now we can thunder punch those bird brains. This feels so good to destroy flying types with these now. Oh, that's quite impressive. Thank you. Now look, no clothes, lots of clothes. I'm just gonna throw that out there. In different colored clothes too. Alright, hop it will level up soon. Let's you just for the power hidden within a psychic Pokemon. Oh, uh, we need Cut to get that item. Alright, we'll get that item later. Because we don't have Brilliant with us right now. I could teach Cut to another Pokemon, but... That feels like a waste of a move slot. And after this battle, Hoppip will evolve to Skiploom. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we'll switch into Mr. Pinchy. Because like I said, I want to get Mr. Pinchy caught up in levels. And we don't use Mr. Pinchy all that much. Oh, that did quite a bit of damage. Um, I I really should have switched, but that's alright. Oh, I killed it in one hit anyways. That's pretty nice. Alright, so we're going to get Skip Bloom now. Gen 5 added, um, Whimsicott, which is so better in my opinion. Way better than Skip Bloom. Alright. And it's happening. I think this is our first evolution in the series. And it has to be with something lame like Hop It. Yeah, I'm a skip home, and I'm really happy. I'm hopping up around. when yeah, I'm green. Sorry about that. That's how I imagine Skip Bloom sounds like. Let's take a look at him. His stats... <laughs> really just speed improved. Nothing else improved at all. Skip Bloom is still pretty bad. Yeah. But that's alright. We have... Plenty other decent Pokemon. Mr. Pinchy's a little hurt, so we're gonna lead with Scarecrow because he's still on the weakish side. And actually, you know what? I think let's see who can learn Cut here. I, I might teach Pinch Mr. Pinchy Cut because, like I said, he can't really learn much else, anyways. And wait a minute, I'm gonna see what the difference in power is between Vice Grip and. Cut quick. Vice Grip has 55 power. And I think Cut has Cut has 50, I'm pretty sure. So Vice Grip is a little more powerful. Oh, I didn't see much power had 50, yeah. So I don't want to get rid of Cut or Vice Grip. Um, 
We'll get rid of bind. Bind isn't all that helpful. Or maybe seismic toss. Honestly, nah, bind. And we got cut. So we can cut down this tree without getting a new Pokemon. Or at least getting Bloom on the PC. I just have to cut it. I already cut a Pokemon on this route. I caught the Skip Bloom, so. What we find in this grass won't be anything. And we gotta revive. We can't use those at all. I have to sell it. Oh, I recently went to the store and restocked on items, so. And it's a bug maniac. Once a bug catcher, now a bug maniac. So, like, the bug catcher evolved, basically. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Basically, it's an older bug catcher. That's what I'm seeing. Not much older. Like, from elementary school to middle school, basically. I, I did not like this matchup. We're going to go to Hot Cody. Yeah, Cody doesn't even look like my real dog. He, this guy looks more like a Doberman. Or a Rottweiler. My my real dog is uh, Kali, so... They're not that similar, but nonetheless, they're both dogs. Dustox just got his face destroyed, and Scarecrow got some EXP. I really want Scarecrow to evolve, because like I said, he's not really shining greatly. Beautify doesn't get that many bug moves, so I'm not afraid. And plus, I have the fire to resist it, so... Easy victory. Derek. My ineptitude also remains unchanged. Now, this route... As you can see, there's an item over there. I'm sorry, I was going to say something. This route, please allow me to evaluate if you reset your Pokemon properly, gives you a lot of trainers' numbers. This means this route is ideal for um, training against... Um, training your Pokemon with actual trainers. I'll show you what I did in... Um, Ruby and Sapphire, it works the same in Emerald as well. Switch my Scarecrow out. Go into Lightyear, because, you know, Water Counter. Or Flying Counter, sorry. He's also a Water type, so Thunder Punch will totally destroy this Mingle. And she has uh, five other Pokemon, that's just great. Just, we won't bother switching out, just destroy this mirror. We'll go through it quickly. Anyways, so as I was saying, this route has a lot of different trainers you can get registering your Pokemon app. This is the one time I'm actually glad the Pokemon app is in the game. Because this route is very useful for um, training up your Pokemon against things that aren't wild Pokemon. And plus, trainers give you money, so there's benefits of battling them over wild Pokemon. And trainers just give you more experience. So not only is it a change of scenery, a change of things you'll see in battle, they have other benefits as well. Um, and I'll show you what I did to, to use to take advantage of this route. And, oh, that's going to be annoying. That kind of sucks. And we're taking continual damage now. More damage than this shroom is should other do otherwise. So, get rid of this stupid little mushroom. And Cody's going to level up. He's going to be one of our higher level Pokemon. Wow, plus four special attack. And he's going to learn Roar. Roar forces your opponent to switch out. Not great, but it's better than Leer. Because Cody doesn't really get much physical attacks. I mean, Smog is a physical attack, but you've yet to see me use that move. There's really no reason to. And here comes Roselia. Just another grass Pokemon for Cody to just totally annihilate. Boom. Bye-bye, Roselia. And the last Pokemon's a Skitty. Oh my gosh, that reminds me while I was training and some random girl called me about how awesome her Skitty is. Yeah, they just... I like the Pokenav better in Ruby and Sapphire. In Emerald, they introduced the ability for them to call you and... You can still battle people. I'm glad I made a superb trainer in you. I hope to see you again. Immigrants to Lydia. Anyways, as I was saying, they can still call. You can still rematch people in Ruby and Sapphire, but in this game, they can call you. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. I mean, it kind of makes the scene, the world seem a little more lively. I guess I think that's what they were trying to go for. But in reality, it just makes the world seem more annoying and repetitive. If they I don't mind people calling you, it's just the frequency in which they call you and babble about absolutely nothing. It, it's worthless. Gibberish. It just doesn't... It doesn't make you connect to the characters more, it makes you annoyed at them. 
instead of having random trainers calling you like all the time throughout your journey, I think having like May call you every once in a while to battle you would be a good idea. Instead of having a bunch of random nobodies do it. Alright, I'm gonna switch up my party quick just because you've seen these Pokemon all episode. And since it was a battle heavy episode, we don't want to see the same guys over and over again. So we'll get we'll get Crybaby. <laughs> I'm done with Skiploom for now. Get out of here. Um, Sneasel. Or Shadow, sorry. Get rid of... We see enough of Mr. Pinchy. And that's good. I don't feel like using the other guys. And, I'm sorry. So let me tell you what I used to do in Ruby and Sapphire. And you can do it here too. See here, I have this Route 117. And then here it says Verdant Turf Town. If you just walk in between these two repeatedly... Over and over again, you would you. This happens. This works best later. The later you are in the game, if you keep doing this, your match call will keep updating. So you'll have more oper You see, if the, a trainer is ready to battle you, this is too early in the game, so I can't do it right now. But if a trainer were to be ready to battle you, there'd be a little symbol on the far right of the screen next to their name. So if um. If Pokefam and Gale want to battle me again, there'd be like a little red Pokeball next to his name. And that means he's ready to battle you, you talk to him and he'll battle you. Well, the game would refresh that Pokeball every time you change routes. But this, I don't remember the percentage of it happening, but if you just keep stepping back and forth here repeatedly, you can battle all these trainers. Her, one of them up there may have given you the number, I don't remember. I think she gave you her number, this guy gave you his number, and that guy down there gave you his number, and they gave you their number. So if you keep walking back and forth there, they're... Each time you go into a new route or a new area, they have a chance of calling you. So if you just keep walking back and forth here, yeah, it's a really easy way to get them to call you, and you'll be able to battle them. So let's just explore this town a little bit. This is the Wanda's house. Let's see who the heck Wanda is. Hmm. Do you mean Wally? No, I'm kidding. Wanda must be your mom. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel nonstop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little too concerned. She goes, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. Aw, oh, true love. Oh, Paul. Wally's next door. That boy. There's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment, it could be the Pokemon are giving the boy hope. Aww. I lost you, Paul, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my routes, I'm gonna challenge Pokemon Gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Paul, I'm gonna be stronger than you. Oh, no, you did not. When I do, I'm gonna challenge you to another battle. And you're gonna destroy, you still have a routes. Look. Look, I have a Sneasel, I have a Cody, I have a. A lot of things that can kill a freaking route. Or even a guard of war, probably. So we're gonna get out of that place at no point the yet, yet. The way the wind blows, volcanic ash is never blown in this direction. The air is clean and delicious here. I, I didn't know air could taste good. I thought air was tasteless. Living here should do wonders for even frail and sickly people, which is why Wally lives here. And there's a cute little flower box there. And oh my gosh, Pikachu looks hideous. Pika Pika! Pikachu! Let me see your Pokemon. I'll check how much it likes you. Another one of these people. Oh, your Pokemon is getting used to it seems to believe in you. Aw, oh, who was in front of my party? I forgot. Scarecrow. He's been with me since the beginning. He better. Jeez. About time he starts turning to Oh, look, the TV's flashing. And now it's time for the Name Raider Show. I tell your Pokemon's fortune from the nickname you bestowed. Advice is what I have to give, and it's helpful that I offer. Today I should be reading. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Pinchy! Hmm, this nickname is a nickname that will nurture the caring and compassionate side of Pokemon. If raised popular, this Pokemon will come to exhibit real warmth, so my pencil is going to become a pansy. That's just excellent. It has a sublime, flowing feel to it. <laughs> the flow from the initial letter M to the R is especially wonderful. This is babbling about nothing. I must say that Mr. Pinchy is quite a good nickname. The trainer will continue to treat Mr. Pinchy with love. That's it for today's show. We meet again. I bet if I need him something like a swear word, he'd still say the exact same thing. 
Except change the end letters. I don't know why they didn't make this one big flower box instead of three separate ones like they did. I don't know, it just seems kind of weird to me. That always took out to me. In Pokemon League, I think the rules say that you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose any of them, you have to begin your challenge from the beginning. Well, what jerks they are. Far away, deep in the Everground City is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all frighteningly well-skilled. I think it'd be cool if they made a Pokemon game where you can become part of the Pokemon League. I think that'd be interesting. You see the key next to the Pokemon Mart? Yeah, there's a guy in there trying to beat up the boulders. I like how he phrases it, beat up boulders. And, remember this place? And there's a trainer. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon in the mountains a mountain Pokemon? I call Pokemon that lives in the mountains a mountain Pokemon. I don't know what you're talking about. Geodude. Oh, he's a hiker and he's a Geodude. I'm entirely surprised by this. And Absorb Geodude. And Geodude is gone. Because you just hit Absorb Geodudes and they... Geodudes are pathetic. Geodude is a great Pokemon to actually have, though. When you're battling it, it's pretty easy to beat. You send out your water or grass type. But having one, it resists all those normal attacks. And the CPU usually uses a lot of normal moves. So having a Geodude, I would recommend in-game if you have the opportunity. Especially, especially in Gold and Silver. Gen 2, Geodude is just the most helpful, one of the most helpful Pokemon you can have. Especially since you can get it right at the beginning. So if you're playing Gold and Silver, I highly recommend you get a Geodude. That did nothing. And, oh, that did a lot. You know what? I don't trust Scarecrow. We're going to go into Bill. He resists those fighting moves. You know, Pauline is better than your Machop. He's leering at me, and Bill don't take that crap. He's going to win attack you right across the face. Smack you like a hoe. Because Bill is a boss. My Pokemon ran out of power. Yeah, yeah they did, Fatso. Alright. Nothing against fat people. And we got Max Ether, which restores all the PP to your Pokemon. Power points, don't be immature people. You know what, that item, that rock looks a different color. I'm going to check it out. It may have an item. Oh, look at that Pidgey. This is probably my favorite Pidgey sprite, because he looks all ready, and this is probably the closest to badass Pidgey's ever looked, but we're still going to run from it. Keep in mind, we already attempted to catch Pokemon here. It was that stupid Reggie Ice, so that's why I didn't try to catch it. And this, this rock, my boyfriend is there. He, he's just not, he's not just digging the tunnel he keep to see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. He says that he just wants to get in your pants. I'm sorry, that's, I'm, I'm sorry. I realize kids are probably watching this video. I should probably stop talking about smacking hoes and... I'm just going to stop talking about it. Alright, it's a regular bullet, but I'm probably be able to smash it. So, let's use Mr. Pinchy. I don't have Mr. Pinchy with me, do I? That's right. We're going to give it to Shadow, because Shadow doesn't have a very good move pool either. So, we're going to teach Shadow Rock Smash quick. Oh, Cody can learn Rock Smash. I'm not going to do that, because Cody actually can get some moves, but... We'll get rid of Taunt. Taunt isn't very good in-game. For a competitive play, Taunt's awesome, but in-game, it's pretty bad. And let's break this rock. And I swear I just taught Shadow. Oh, I am... Guys, I had a dirt moment. I need to get the gym badge. <laughs> you guys can hate on me in the comments for that. Ooh, a Shininja. Hate me in the comments for that. I just wasted all our time. Alright, let's run away from this thing. And let's see what's over here. So hopefully it's not a total waste of time that we came in this cave. Hint, it's not. We can come out over here. What's over here, you might ask? Well, there's this guy. What's this guy do? I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Well, we have the item find... Oh, <laughs> no, my bike's equipped there. All right. <laughs> Let me go equip the item finder quick. So we can find his glasses for him. Um, item finder. Register. Use it. What's the item finder tell you? It tells us to go left. So we're going to go around this guy and see what it has to say. Keep going left. All right. I think it's like right here. Let's just use it again and find out. It's right. I went too far, I guess. Oh, I found them. Black glasses. So let me go back and talk to this guy. 
Should my glasses help you find them? Those glasses, might I see them for a second? Hmm, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. And my glasses aren't around here. So we just got... Oh, gosh, jeez, I forgot he left. <laughs> I don't know why that startled me. Well, we got glasses now. Not any glasses. Black glasses. Why the heck do you want black glasses? Obviously, so you can look like an uh, FBI agent. No, I'm just kidding. You can give them to your Pokemon. Let's give this one to... They hired here. Let's just go back to what it says. A whole line that raises the power of dark type moves. It's like the silk scarf that um, Shadow is carrying to make it look fabulous. Except it's it's the same thing but with dark moves basically. Now, it may seem logical to give it to Cody, but right now Cody has no dark moves, so he wouldn't benefit from it at all. Unlike Sneasel, who does have a dark move, but I have yet to use it so. I'm going to hold on to it for now. Ammonite is actually the most viable member to use it, because he's the only one that uses Bite frequently. So we give Squidward some Chill Shades and HP up. So that's a nice item to find over here if we take that bottle of drugs out here and use it on a Pokemon. Let's say Shadow doesn't have much HP. We use it on Shadow, and his base HP stat will raise. See, now it was 46, now it's 47. One point may not seem like much, but one point may be the difference between death and survival. So, keep that in mind. And again, all these engines in the wall, we need hidden power to get to, and I think I'll end this episode here. So, th oh, no, not options, sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. If Subscribe as well, so you can catch my latest videos, and... Um, please leave a comment, I enjoy reading them, and see you later.